Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dennis. Welcome to Patina Code. This is So You Want to Build an AD. I'm cold right out. I'm done. Come on. Hello again, everybody, and thank you once again for tuning in for this edition of So You Want to Build an AD, powered by LS Fabrication, and we're going to pick up from where we left off. Today, we're going to be doing the tow board install, and you're going to get to check out how I went about installing the LS Fabrication bead rolled tow boards on our project truck here. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hello everybody, I'm Dennis for LS Fabrication and today I'm going to show you how to install tow boards on the 1947 through 1955 first series Advanced Design Chevrolet pickup truck. So as you can see, we have our fill cowl delete panel in, we have our firewall panel in, we even have the LS Fabrication kick panels in. Now it's time to add the tow boards to complete the full assembly and get this truck ready to start going into the full on bodywork stage. So. Tow boards, relatively simple. There's just one thing that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So, right here in the driver's side area, you have the ring for the steering column to come through. If you're gonna be like me and you're gonna use that entire ring to go back through with your steering column, then you're gonna wanna cut it out just as I have done here. If you're not gonna be doing that because you're gonna put it in an aftermarket steering column or you just might wanna relocate the steering column, you're gonna wanna cut right across the center of this opening right here. The panel itself has the embossed area for you to cut around for you to add the hole for your steering column. We're gonna be putting this up here in this particular build. We're gonna mock it up and then we're gonna trace out the area that we wanna cut out because as I said, we're gonna leave this original piece for the steering column to pass through and this is gonna be a nice addition to the truck once this is all completed. So let's get started with the install. As I said, it's straightforward. You get it in there, you line it up, you get it where it needs to be, you trim back what you need to trim back via this piece here on the fill panel or up here on the truck, and then you put fire to it and get it welded in solid. So when it comes to cutting on the panel, what I like to do is follow my guideline, but I like to follow above that line because I don't want to cut what I think might be precise and then after the refitment, it ends up being too short. It's better to have it long and then sneak up on it. And what I mean by that is take the grinder or your sanding pad and get it level out. Just keep going. Just take your time and do it slow. That way you get the proper fit that you're after and not have to end up trying to scab pieces back together to make something work. After you're satisfied with the fitment, go down to your floor, make sure that it's all level and straight and flat. And if you have to dolly anything out, get everything nice and flat. Make sure that you have a good clean area so that you can start the welding, reset your part, and put fire to it. As we continue on, this is the driver's side. As I said, I'm gonna be keeping the original steering column intact, so I've kept this whole ring here. Now, you notice the squareness of the tabs. What I've done is come over here and traced out what we have, and these two lines going down are those quote-unquote tabs. This is the inside circumference. So what I'm gonna to wanna to be doing is trimming this to come inside of the bead. We don't want to cut into the bead and definitely don't want to have to be welding into that. That's part of the panel. So we're going to round this like this so that we can weld right inside here the way that it was designed. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is round those out to get them to fit inside of the area that we have to work with.
Now that we have the radius cut on the firewall, it's time to come to the panel and cut that out. Generally, you got one shot at this, but if you cut just a little bigger than what you need, you can always trim. Remember, it's easier to take away than add when dealing with metal. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and do a little fitting. So you'll notice this little space that we have between here, here, and there. So they have original style fill pieces that go right there, but we're not gonna do all that. Since we're fabricating and customizing, we're just gonna take a piece of sheet metal that's gonna butt to here that we can weld solid to here, to here, and then come across here. And then that'll block that off and that'll keep the debris from going in there. So this little panel that we're going to put in, we want it to be flush. This is protruding just a little bit, so we're going to knock that back so that way our panel is flush. So let me knock that down. Don't need to get too crazy because it wasn't very much on there. So we don't need to get ahead of ourselves and start cutting off too much it needs a little bit more that ought to do it yep all right so we're good now we're gonna have a flush mount there and we just need to get the different attachment on and do our cutting. Now we gotta get our little piece, stick him up there, see what we working with here. Eh, maybe, okay, all right. I see what I gotta do. Got a little bit of a lip right here, need to knock that back. point it probably would have been easier just to trim this <laughs> hey man that's just hot riding though man that's how that shit goes all right and there we go there we go now we need to just chamfer this down get it straight because we got a straight edge Maybe 
I will knock some of the top of this thing off. like we got a nice little fit here and right there we do this is protruding so let's see get the little baby body hammer here Yeah, we're good. So, let's see. Looks good. Now I just need to chamfer off the edges so that we can do our welding. We'll weld this joker on. That's enough of that shit. Let's get this thing put on here. Okay, all right. See a little bit of an issue there. It's got this little, little piece, little chunk I cut out on accident. But you know what? It's not enough to stop us. So what we'll do, since we have length at the bottom, we're just gonna cut a little bit off the top. some weld and call it a day ain't man shit that's the thing dude. like yeah you got to be on point with this shit but you ain't got to be all i mean we we'll fill that in and it ain't gonna go nowhere now next thing we need to do is clean off this ep code fire up the welder put some fire to this and then we'll have this little piece connected we're not gonna weld it solid we're gonna put some tacks in it to hold it in place Let's see what we got Looks good for now. So there's a little bit of a flange hanging over here. Gonna get the grinding attachment back on and grind this down to be flush with the outside of the archway and then bring it to where it's just straight down. Then we will go into getting this welded to that and then we will curve this under to meet our tow board that's underneath. So we've got that set up and it looks pretty good. now. You see there's a, a V there, there's a gap. I'm debating, do I wanna take a piece of sheet metal stick between here, or do I wanna just <laughs> fill it with weld? That's a challenge because we're not TIG welding, we are using a big welder. If it was a TIG welder, you could probably stack welds and it. it's a lot cooler, the range, the heat range is a lot cooler with the, with the uh, TIG welder. Uh, MIG welder, even on the lowest setting, which is number one, you still would have to have a wire speed of I don't know, 30, 25, 30, to, to where you could be like, and then have a nice thick puddle, and then to where you could stack them to fill. So I've done that in smaller spaces like this, but that's a lot of a gap to fill just using primarily weld. So we're going to probably have to cut us a little sliver, like maybe up to this point here, but then 
definitely feel from the very peak to where it starts to get wider. We can fill that much with weld, but use a piece of metal to go in between there. That way, you know, it's it'd be easier. <laughs> so we got that done. Now we're gonna hop back over on the other side. That's it, man. We got it. Everything's complete. We do have a little split right here. That's not a problem. We're going to put our LS fabrication tunnel inside here. And we'll probably be doing a little bit of cutting out kind of an art way here. We'll just see when it's time to install that. But we will give you guys a look at this. I'm going to wipe off the welding dust, the grinding dust give you guys an overall view of what we've got we blocked off our archways here instead of using the little pieces that they would use a shield we just made it one whole piece joined it to our firewall here and of course we're going to be running a little bondo i got a little bit of brining to do there and i might fill a little fill welding right there but we're going to smear some bondo on this to get it all level of course but that's the passenger side Panel's looking good. There's the tow board. Completely installed. That's the side. That was the trick side where you're trying to get around the steering column opening because I left the original one there because we're going to run the original steering column. But we got her, man. It's all done. It's set in stone. LS fabrication fill panel. Firewall, tow board. Coming up next, LS Fabrication, Transmission Tunnel. Man, I put in some work, guys. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode. I need to get cleaned up and get ready. Appreciate you guys rocking with me, as always, man. I hope that uh, by me doing this, it inspires somebody else out there to say, hey, man, if he can do it. I can do it, and that's damn right, because I am not a professional, so if I can do this shit, y'all can do this shit. Just do what I'm doing. Take your time and pay attention to what you're doing, and if it's learning as you go or learning off this video, so be it. You know, even professionals and masters had to be taught. That means they had to learn. They just didn't come out the womb knowing how to do shit, so... If you think you're just going to pick up a angle grinder and a welder and build a masterpiece, you might be able to. Because there are some people with exceptional type skills like that that can do shit like that. But for the other 99.9998% of people <laughs> that are wanting to get into this, it's going to be some trial and error. It's going to be some good days, bad days, some wins, some fails, some losses, some break-evens, some ties. However you want to put it. But then eventually, the bottom line is, just keep at it. Don't give up. And who gives a fuck about what the next person's saying, for real. Like, if it's not constructive criticism, don't pay that shit no mind. So I'm going to get out of here, man. One more shot of what we accomplished <laughs> today. Toe board life. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay with me. Do remember, everyone can receive 10% off all LS Fabrication sheet metal panels by way of entering promo code Patina Code at checkout on LS Fabrication store website. That's ls-fab.com. Go check them out. Outfit your ride with some of these badass panels.